um, my dear friend Amy um, told me about this channel uh, today. Christmas every day. They've got loads of Christmas stuff, old Christmas stuff, from movies to cartoons to uh, Walt Disney World Day Parade with NSYNC. Um, Mum for Christmas, Olivia Newton-John, might watch that today. Christmas Sing Along, Christmas Carols Karaoke 1989. Cartoons, kind of news things that were happening, parades, was that um, Walt Disney. This looks really good, I've just got a whole wealth of, of quality things here. They've got Christmas episodes of sort of sitcoms. So I might just have this rolling in the background today. While I start wrapping presents and doing other Christmassy stuff. So thanks, Amy. <laughs> you you know exactly what I need. So thank you. The Night the Animals Talked, 1970. I've gone for uh, A Mum for Christmas, um, starring Olivia Newton John. She's um, a shop mannequin, but look, she's, she's coming to life, I think, because this little girl wished for a, a mum for Christmas. Oh, oh. What's this? <laughs> I was just coming to say, I do want to go and have a vegan Christmas dinner at the moon. Oh yeah, when when are they starting? I don't know, have a look, but ooh. Mm, yeah, that looks nice. So I had a lovely little time um, wrapping some presents whilst watching A Mum for Christmas. Uh, and then after A Mum for Christmas, I watched the Fame Christmas episode. Uh, some guy's trying to save some money so he can buy a Christmas tree. Um, this is like a bit of a tester Christmas wrapping session just to see what presents I've got so far, what more I need to get, and also to start wrapping the stuff that I need to send home. Um, but yeah, it made me feel festive, so that was nice. Three days in the snow. Today's coffee is karambi honey. I'm assuming it don't actually have honey in them. Um, but it actually has black hints of blackberry and brown sugar. Um, I can't put my glasses on, so I'm having to hold it far away, like a cute old lady. Um, yeah, it doesn't tell you much. It's honey process. I don't know. Does that mean it's got honey in? Anyway, I'm going to drink it. Um, I'll look up that honey process afterwards. <laughs> so I'm going to have that. Yesterday's was good. Um, it's Monday, and um, in case you don't know about, you know, my daily life, <laughs> I work Monday to Wednesday, so three days, like as in, in an office job. Um, where I work for an art charity so um, I work from home mainly but I think I might go into an office an office this week sometimes as well so I've got that it's like nine till five so um, I'll be home so I'll catch up at like breaks and lunch time uh, but I'll mainly be just sat at my at my desk with my laptop okay I've got the coffee I've looked it up it doesn't have any actual honey in it it's nothing to do with honey um, I don't know how interested uh, we are in this, but it's just the way that it's, um, that, so coffee producers have either used two main techniques for processing their beans, natural or dry and washed. The honey or pulped natural process is a hybrid that combines elements of both techniques. So we've all learned, I mean, you probably knew this, I've learned something. Um, this coffee is, is, um, is nice, they're all nice. I feel like I prefer the ones I liked yesterday's, which had that kind of more more chocolate kind of flavour or notes of the the ones which are a bit more berry, black currant tea. I find them like a little bit too tart. Coffee reviews. I've got like um I've got a bagel. It's a it's got vegan bacon in it. Um, 
it's the this is isn't or this i don't know what it's called it's a good one Oh, they good. Yeah, so, so we've got these noodles. Yeah, we added some spring onion. Oh, nice. Um, it did like five and four, four and a half minutes. Okay. And then we're going to spoon them over a potato. Would that make sense? Oh, I don't know. I thought I was oh, going to have a little bowl of it on the side with potato. Oh, I just thought you were going to put the potato and then put this on top so it's mm. a part of it. Well, are you going to do that? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. I think I'll keep them separate. Okay. I really mm. like cheap powder. noodles. Yeah, just powdered noodles. It was oh. really hot. Oh, is it spicy? Mm. It'd probably be yeah. less spicy once yeah. it cooked a little bit. Yeah, it's it? just, just rather than just eating yeah. the powder. Oh, do you want to, or should we put peas in? Oh, okay. Yeah. yeah. Is that a bit more? Maybe. Yeah, that's it. It's spicy. <laughs> it's nice, isn't it? Though? Yeah, I like spicy. Like, got lots of flavour. It's, it's pretty hot. Yeah. Mm. A little bit cold. I've been reading this. I am, I guess I'm almost halfway through. So it's Paul Oster's new book, Baumgartner. It's only kind of small, so it's like 200 odd pages. And, and I've always enjoyed. Paul Oster, but TBH, I'm finding this a bit boring. I'm not really enjoying it, mm -hmm. and I'm forcing myself through a bit. Are you not in the mood for it, maybe, or is I it just not a particularly good one? Um, maybe I'm not in the mood, but I thought I was. Maybe I'm not in the mood for it. Um, but I don't know. I'm just not really connecting with it. Nothing worse than just forcing yourself through a book, oh, is it? Oh man. Yeah. Um, and I don't know. It's got. It's like about an older guy, like he's in his 70s. So I don't know if I'm just like not really connecting to that side of it. But mm. usually I can kind of go with stuff. But, um, and then, the, yeah, and his wife's died like a, a while ago. And then he's kind of reading some of his wife's letters or stories or whatever. So it was almost like a story within a story again, like Paul Oster does yeah. all the time. Um, but I'm not, I'm not really connecting with it. It's not peak Oster. No. Can I do my little discussion on Paul Oster? I don't yeah. I don't think this has put me off Paul Oster, but maybe it has. Oh gosh, okay, this discussion. Yeah. Okay. The whole stuff around. Oh no, that, I think that explains think actually this... why you're struggling with this book. <laughs> I'd forgotten about this. Once well, you get something slight... in your head, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, but it's probably not it's got it does have a slight sort of privileged vibe to it, I would say as well. This book. Which I'd say about the well, story. <laughs> So, um, maybe you know this, but Paul Oster was married to Lydia Davis and they had a son whose name at the moment I can't remember. Um, his son actually recently died of, this is a bit of a grim story, his son died of an, an overdose. I don't know if it was like intentional or not, you know, a accidental or intentional kind of overdose. Um, but he'd had like drug, he'd had like addiction issues, I think, throughout his life. Also, his daughter, the, the granddaughter, the son's daughter, died um, in his care, in kind of quite had ingested some drugs. But prior to that, the son, like back in the when would it have been nineties, I guess, you know that whole kind mm. of the whole. Oh, I haven't got the names of people. So it was Michael Alleg. Um, who also recently died, not long died of an overdose, but Michael Alec and someone else had, like, um, murdered um, this guy called Angel. Yeah, so Michael Alec, who's, like, a party guy, who's, who got into loads of drugs, and anyway, he killed Angel, who was, like, a drug dealer, um, and it's, it's quite grim. Obviously, you could go and investigate it. I'm not going to go into that death. <laughs> but there was, like... Three people in the flat when when um, Angel was killed. One of them was Paul Oster's son. Um, and whereas the two other people went to prison, um, Paul Oster's son kind of, I think, had said that he was passed out and didn't hear anything. But I think that's a bit suspect. And the story is that's kind of more recently been talked about over his death was that Paul Oster paid 
um, was friends with like a police chief and kind of Alleged, paid off. allegedly allegedly yeah had paid... su- sued for libel and <laughs> <Yeah. time. laughs> he'd allegedly paid off the to get his son out of out of this yeah thing so it's just that all of that like it's like a kind of a quite grim but and very sad story I think the whole it, like his son's I don't say his son's whole life but you know what I mean there's obviously just lots of issues there mm-hmm. I don't think that seeped over into I think my it has, because the fact that you haven't stopped thinking about that I have is obviously uh, it, 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 it's, it's so it's so soiling much, the reading experience I guess not so much the the story but that but that feel of like a kind of quite rich, privileged. That's what he is. Paul Austin. Yeah, at this point, he's a wealthy yeah, New sure. York. Sure. Yeah. I know, and I guess I hadn't really thought about that much. Well, I think times have changed and... around him, and that's yeah. become like it. But that's what you know, I think. That's you know, it's okay that he's that, isn't it? I sure. Guess. But then I get, I feel like that this book does have a little bit of that feel to it. Yeah. Which, fair enough, might be my thoughts on the sun but i don't think so <laughs> you were struggling with the fact that he might have paid off the uh, police guy well i thought it was just like t- it's just the same as the your favorite actor going to prison for pi- for paying off so that they can get into college laurie loughlin yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's the same isn't it but yeah. worse because it's like a murder yeah. yeah it's pretty grim i think isn't it i think it's not as bad as what laurie loughlin did <laughs> She just pretended they were into rowing. I mean, she paid to, like, you know, that's like taking someone else's position in college. Whilst this is just, like, paying so that someone doesn't go to prison. Which, like, I would pay to not have my son go to prison. And um, we don't believe in prisons anyway. Do you know what I mean? So I, I don't really mind that he did that, if, if he did that, allegedly. <laughs> <laughs> the other two guys went to prison. Mm. Yeah. Yeah. It's a bit suspect, isn't it? He didn't even go to trial. Yeah. 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 <laughs> Poor thing. You do struggle with these moral issues, <laughs> don't you? Once they get in there and that little nugging. If you want to vote on should Paul Oster have paid paid <laughs> Were you on my yeah, we'll side? Do a poll. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. And I find Siri Hustaford annoying, that's my other issue. Mm. Okay, thanks for that. <laughs> You're welcome. call it a day there it's been quite a nice little day yeah yeah i've yeah, just been at work and, and then i've just been to yoga oh they look so funny vlogmas is always there every year it's just like oh okay that's what i look like that's what you look like you look lovely <laughs> the humbling experience of vlogmas oh, like yeah. yeah that's it um those noodles a little bit comfy coming back up on me today <laughs> but they were really nice um, <laughs> they were fine for me yeah um, that's it, Monday done. And let us know about your thoughts on Paul Oster. <laughs> okay. Bye, see you tomorrow. <laughs>